Hi and welcome to the sixth session of ukulele time. It might be worth having another look at session five, not just to practice your C and the F for Mamma Mia, but also because we're going to play Wackiest Racers again, but not just the version we played last time, a slightly trickier, different version, though I'm sure you'll still cope. Let's check our ukulele first, is in tune. So here we go. Greedy cats eat apples. That didn't sound quite right to me. G, that G sounds a little bit low. So if yours is sounding a bit weird too, have a look what I'm doing. Here's the adjuster for G, and I'm going to turn it left. So anti-clockwise, gradually. That sounds quite good. But if you went a little bit too far, don't worry, because you just go back clockwise to the right, and then you've got it. Okay, so be very careful when you're doing it, very gradual, and check you're in tune with me. So G, C, E, and A. There we go. So like I said, have a look at session five, first of all, and see if you can remember how to play Wackiest Racers, because we're now going to have a go at a slightly different version. Wacky Racers Mark Two. I'm sure you're ready for the new version, so here it is. Let's warm up by plucking different strings one after the other. Now I've noticed, I don't know about you, but the very first bar has got how many dots? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dots. It's about seven notes in one bar. How does that work? Ah, uh, they're joined up. Well, some of them are. So I don't know about you, but I know that quavers are the notes that are joined together and they're half a beat. So I've got to squeeze seven notes into that first bar and they are E's. So here we go. Was that an E? Greedy cats eat. Oh yeah. Oh, have you noticed a new note? 2A. Well, if you remember the first version of Racky's Racers, we needed two on the C, which was there. So two on the A, there's A, there's one, and there's two. So easy, I can go E seven times. And then seven two A's. Now I've got a little phrase that's going to help us remember this. Dead easy. Can I have a cup of tea? Can I have a cup of tea? Easy. I'm sure you can do that. If you can't, rewind and have another go. We're going to look at the second line. Now, this looks a little complicated because it's jumping all over the place. A, E, A, E, A, E, A. Mm. There's A and there's E. Oh, they're right next to each other. Oh, I can do that. A, E, A, E, A, E, A. A bit fast. Ooh, see if you can do it. A, E, A, E, A, E, A. And then G, E, G, E, G. Have a cup of tea. So it's like a shortened version. G, E, G, E, G. G, E, G, E, G. Ooh, that's tricky because we've got to jump over a string. And then we're back to seven. I've seen that before. Seven E's and seven two A's. Right. Last line. Uh, two C. Now that's even shorter version. Cup of tea. But it's two C. Oh, we did that. Two C. There's C, and then I'll go to my second space. So cup of tea. Two A. We've done that one. One two on the A. 
and then A on its own, T, and then it's G, E, G. So G, E, G, and then along E. That's it. Oh, and there's a bar to rest. Do you notice that first bracket? We did talk about that in the first version. So what happens is we have a bar's rest, and then we go right to the beginning, and we do it all again. But then we miss out the br bracket number one, and we do bracket number two instead. So we end up with two long E's. And that's it. Let's have a go. tricky to keep with the music isn't it the first time round so why not rewind and have another go well done I think we need to give our thumb a bit of a rest so let's work on some chords remember we use our index finger for strumming chords hopefully you remember a C chord you remember the F first finger second string up second finger top string G chord that looks a bit like a triangle. First finger, third string up in the second space. Second finger on the bottom string. Third finger on the second string up in the third space. Or fret. And finally, our new chord for this piece is called A minor. And it looks like AM on the sheet of music. AM is first finger having a rest. Third finger having a rest, fourth finger having a rest. It is just your second finger. So it's a bit like a C chord, one finger, but it's also a bit like an F chord without the first finger. There's F. Take your first finger off. There's A minor or A M. So if you can do an F chord, you can do an A chord. Or an A minor. So let's have a look at the music. We need to be able to change our chords really quick in this piece, especially from C to F. Now, if you did Mamma Mia in session four, you should be able to do that quite well. So we've got to go three C's, then one F. And then back to C. And that's all the way through the verse. Then we change. And we have to have an A minor, which is on the word sleeping at the bottom of verse one. That's not too bad to go from F to A minor, because we just lift up our first finger and we've got A minor. Easy. Two A minors. Then the tricky bit. We've got to swap some A minor to G. So you've got to go A minor, G. And then we're back to the F, C, 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 F, C. Let's just try it together. One, two, three, four. G. 
C C C F C C C and so on. Let's try it. Verse one and two with the backy. I've been trying to do it right. I've been living a lonely life. I've been sleeping here instead. I've been sleeping in my bed. Sleeping in my bed. So show me family. All the blood that I will bleed. I don't know where I belong. I don't know where I went wrong But I can write a song I Well done. Now for the chorus, swap to the A minor and two of those then the G which is the trickier one and then four C's So A minor, two G for two, and C. And then you're back to the original idea of three Cs. Back to F and C. So, let's try the chorus. You belong with me, my sweet heart. Why not come up with a different strum pattern? Because on the original song, you can hear different versions of the strums. So, for the third verse, what about the one that they're playing? Down, 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 up, down. And then put the F in, and then back to C. Down, down, up, down. Down, 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 up, down. Get the idea? Brilliant. So the only other section left is this bridge section, which is the part of the song that can be quite different to the rest of the song. And I think it is in this song too. So as you can hear, we have an F chord, then a G, and then a C. So F, G, C. But he does four Fs. two G's and two C's. Let's try it. Well done. I think we're ready to have a go at the whole piece. Don't forget, if you get lost, Try and follow the words or find out which chord you should be playing. Don't forget, it's only going to be C, F, G or A minor. Good luck. I've been trying to do it right I've been living a lonely life I've been sleeping here instead I've been sleeping in my bed Sleeping in my bed So show me family All the blood that I will bleed
Well done. Why not rewind and experiment with some other different strumming patterns? Good luck and see you next time.